Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. In this video, we are going to be performing our 70 mile per hour highway efficiency loop with this the Kia Sorento Hybrid, new for 2021. This is a really interesting car. We have plenty of other videos on it. I actually think it's unbelievably nice, extremely premium, very well priced. And then the last thing is, how efficient is it? Now the hybrid system's really gonna help it around town, but we have to see what it does on the highway in our standardized testing. So let's go to the fueling station. I'll explain the testing procedures right now, and then we're gonna be performing our loop style test. This Kia Sorento Hybrid is the EX, a hybrid, of course. Now, we're going to be talking about the exact car and spec here in a little bit, but let me explain how we do our 70 mile per hour tests. What we're going to do is leave here in the town of Fort Collins where we live. We're going to drive this car about 10 or 15 miles up on the highway, get it everything up to operating temperature, get the bearings nice and warm, and we're going to stop at a fueling station right off of the highway. Once we get to that fueling station, what we're going to do is fill Fill up the fuel tank all the way until it completes at 100%, essentially until the fueling uh, station cuts off. After that, we are going to wait 30 seconds and then fill up the fuel tank all the way to full again, holding it wide open on the uh, fuel filler. That's how we know we have a full fuel tank in the Kia Sorento. Then we can jump onto the highway. We're gonna drive it in eco mode, the most eco mode we can go while keeping air conditioning on. This has a really unique driver only air conditioning mode, which is very similar to other Hyundai Kia plug-in hybrids, hybrids, and electric vehicles. I like that feature. We'll be using it, of course, uh, but we always run climate control. So that way we have a standard standardized sort of procedure. Uh, then we're going to run a loop style test. The reason I run a loop style test is to negate any elevation and wind differences. Thankfully today is almost perfect conditions. Let's see, how do we open the trunk on this thing down here? Um, almost perfect conditions, about 65, 68 degrees and sunny and uh, really nice, no wind. So I'm expecting big numbers out of this car. It's a hybrid they've been selling on efficiency, so we have to put their claims to the test. Under the hood powering this thing is a 227 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque, turbocharged four-cylinder combined with, of course, a hybrid electric drive unit. Um, pretty neat, actually. Acceleration is 0 to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds. Really not bad. And then the key number that we're going to be looking at here is the 37 MPG combined efficiency. Will we be able to beat it on the highway? Will we come up short? These are the questions we're going to answer here in just a few seconds. After totaling up the options, the EX plus the $450 or so red paint brings us to $38,000, which is a really good value for a vehicle with this much space, quite large, captain's row, second, uh, second row, captain's chairs here. So a six passenger vehicle in this particular configuration, really good techs, really good driver assistance. We're going to play around with all that on the highway. Now it's time. Let's go to Wellington, get this thing warmed up, up to operating temperature and perform the test. All right, let's get this thing filling up. It takes regular fuel, 85 unleaded. Here we go. Going to go till the tank is full. Again, wait 30 seconds and then squeeze this again all the way. A little bit of a headwind coming this way. Uh, nice thing is we'll be able to capture the tailwind on the way back to even it out. We're also filming Timon's GX460 MPG loop but two separate videos. So stay tuned for whichever one goes next. Now, before we get this thing started up, I'm gonna put it on accessory power. So feet not on the brake. I'm gonna run driver only AC at 72. Heated seats are off. Heated steering wheel is off. Of course, I don't think this car actually has one. Never mind. just normal test procedures. We're gonna put the car in eco mode. There we go. We're gonna run our general loop up to Cheyenne and back. The new car chargers are being installed and they're looking like they're making some progress. They're not on yet, but uh, looking pretty good. So let's run up and do our loop style test. Battery, high voltage battery, we're starting at 50%, just so you know. Of course, we are full. Once timing starts to head off in the GX, we're going to start this baby up and head on our loop. 
And here we go heading up. So I'm gonna lead on this leg and Timon's gonna lead on the leg back, but of course we're gonna space some big differences. We are currently driving around in full electric mode. So we haven't even kicked on the combustion engine. Nice Range Rover pulling in, long wheelbase, blacked out, brand new, looks great. Let's uh, head out this way and see how this thing does. So combustion engine just kicked on. It doesn't really do much electric driving this particular drivetrain. You'll have to hear my thoughts on this once I spend a bit more time with this car and that video may come out earlier than this, but I do a deep driving impressions in the city, in the mountain, and on the highway. So uh, that GX and this were actually pitting, pitting against each other, which will be kind of interesting. So let's run up. Uh, highway's right over here, gentle accelerations. Again, the 1.6 turbo is just, I think, going to sip fuel. It makes peak torque at 50 1500 RPM, which is pretty impressive for especially a little four cylinder where sometimes it's hard to get them on boost, but this seems to work out pretty well. So off onto the highway we go. I'll update you along the way. I have confirmed that the GPS accurate 70 mile per hour speed is the indicated 70 mile per hour speed. Some cars read a little over, some read a little under, but here 70 is a true 70. It's a sign of a good uh, calibration on the speedometer, of course. So cruising along, light traffic, almost no one around, just the Lexus all the way back behind us, of course, not getting any aero advantage. We have good driver assistance tech. Let me tell you a little bit about that because it makes highway driving awesome. The Sorento comes with great driver assistance and that includes lane departure warning so if you touch a line it'll push you back in and warn you it also comes with this button here which is active steering now active steering is actually separate from adaptive cruise control which is very different than most other cars implementations what that means is if you're cruising down a road you can just have the car steer itself while you control the acceleration and braking uh, here in this application I have it set of course at 70 miles per hour I am not following this truck that's why we're just hogging the left lane but again no one behind us which is great and uh, yeah really good it's just keeping nice and straight even with a little bit of hints of wind here or there which hurt our efficiency of course but they keep the uh, the steering right in the middle good driver assistance systems beautiful day out here in Colorado heading up into Wyoming on our MPG loop super nice flat ground 70 mile per hour cruising Timon's a few cars back in the GX we really uh, space out the distances you can see we don't want any car to have an aero advantage we just want to ride in our own little corner in this same exact circumstances so it's really going to be a neat test I think we know the Sorento is going to do better but by how much you know this this 1.6 liter turbocharged engine with the hybrid system it's a really neat uh, really neat combination here versus his 4.6 liter v8 now the lexus interestingly requires premium fuel but uh there's also another version of that same exact engine that produces like 30 less horsepower 25 less horsepower this makes 301 horsepower the russian spec version of that engine kazakhstan other countries that have poorer fuel fuel quality have an engine rated at 288 horsepower i want to say same exact engine code my guess is it's tuned just to run on worse quality fuel than our us spec here so uh yep cruising along we'll let you know the results loop style test of course negating any headwind, headwind tailwind as well as elevation we're going to end right back at the same pumps where we started fill them up use the pump to measure how much fuel each car is used going to be pretty interesting coming up here to exit seven our 50 percent uh, of the way through the test our halfway point so the high voltage battery was actually down a bar and now it's up a bar from where we started. So it's been doing some hybrid-y stuff, I guess. Just gonna move over here. We're gonna regen down to low speeds, kick off the combustion engine. Just trying to time where we come off of 70 miles per hour perfectly. Have to say this Sorento, while it may not sound like it to you on the camera, just kicked it off 70. Uh, is unbelievably quiet in here. The There is a bit of wind noise coming from the back of the car, very minor, but the front area of the vehicle is extremely quiet. So here we are charging up on the gauge, regenning power into the battery pack. We're gonna duck in behind this Explorer, gonna retain as much momentum as we can. And here's where we're gonna get a little bit of tailwind on the way back uh, for some really good efficiency, I hope. Timon is just exiting the freeway over here and uh, he is making his loop right there with us. So jumping back up, we'll hit 70 miles an hour by the end of the on-ramp. 
Uh, really good drivetrain in this car. Six-speed transmission is not a lot, but this has such a wide torque band, you kind of don't need more gears. Uh, very impressed with this entire vehicle, got to say, folks. Let's jump up to 70. Here we go. And we'll see you back at the fueling station. We are getting off the highway just up here, cruising again, 70 miles an hour, really nice. Definitely can tell a little bit of tailwind on this return trip. Cabin's a little bit quieter, less buffeting from wind, etc. So I'm just gonna pull it off 70 miles an hour here. We're back to charging. You can see the high voltage batteries charged up higher than when we left. So we're actually coming back with more electric energy. The GX just in front of us, of course, timing coming in. Great to run these cars both back to back because uh, we'll have a video comparing the two, but actually kind of interesting. Both three row SUVs with captain's chairs in the second row. And uh, that's got a 4.6 liter V8. And this has a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbocharged hybrid, of course. And this is actually, I think, faster than that. We haven't drag raced them yet, but we certainly are going to. We're cruising around in EV mode right now, folks, not burning any fuel. I actually just felt it shift while in EV mode. So the electric motor must be in front of the transmission. Let's uh, head over to the fuel pumps and fill them back up to full and see what kind of fuel economy the Sorento used. And you'll have to stay tuned for another video on the Lexus GX. And 30 seconds has passed. Let's go full squeeze as we normally do. This will be the final result. Oh, good results. Let's calculate the math and see how the Sorento did in the 70 mile per hour loop. Well, we have come up with a pretty good result. We've driven 57.5 miles. Let me just back up really quick. Confirm the total fuel used. 1.736 gallons to go 57.5 miles. Not perfect conditions. The wind was a little more than I expected on the way up. Of course, we got the benefit on the way down. But at the end of the day, the Kia Sorento EX Hybrid in our 70 mile per hour standardized loop style test did drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. 33.1 mpg fantastic for a six passenger highway cruiser with great driver assistance really quiet cab and i'll secret it absolutely blew away the lexus as you would expect so stay tuned for that video or that video is up not sure thanks so much for watching another out of spec reviews video and we'll see you on the next one Bye bye